What's coming by the end of this month is going to be brutal to our economy and much more than that, folks. This is Tony. Hope you're all doing well. we got a lot to cover in this video. We're going to be covering what's coming by the end of this month and into October. And it's definitely something you definitely want to see. Also, we're going to be getting into what they want to do after this all the way into 2024, folks. So I'm going to be giving you a bird's eye view of what's really going on here, folks. Let's start first with this story here. Hollywood strike, yellow trucking company bankruptcy, likely a restrained U.S. job growth in August. Of course, they wanted to explain away their numbers that were incorrect. They they tried to tell us that they gained a ton of jobs, 185,000, if I remember the number correctly. But in reality, it was only 77,000. And of course, they're trying to put the blame somewhere, folks. The fact is, we're just getting started with this whole thing. Check out what's going on here, folks. We have current unrealized losses. Let's see if I can get it on the screen a little bit better. I don't know why this happens every time, folks. Uh, that's about right. No, a little bit more than that. I think that's about good. Current unrealized losses in the U.S. banking system is $1.8 trillion out of only $2.2 trillion capital with corporate taxes due September 15th and possible GOV shutdown October 2. The general public has no idea the banks are already insolvent, entering a nightmare liquidity scenario in October. So you can see here, they're almost out of money. 1.8 trillion out of 2.2 trillion, folks. And of course, September is well known to be the month that is not good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Check this out right here. Stocks do not exactly like September. And this is historically, folks. As you can see, values of investments actually go down in September. They've even put off for the first time in three years, student loan payments until October. Perhaps they were thinking they could somehow curb what's coming this month and into next month. Now, of course, our representatives take, of course, a recess in September. There's an increasing likelihood that we will see a shutdown October 1st. In recent years, shutdowns have not really hurt economic growth or even stocks. This is what they're claiming. But actually, September is always a bad month for stocks. They want you to think, though, it's not. And this is, this is what we're talking about. Of course, if you're a, a millionaire, billionaire, they, they, they're obviously doing the opposite of what you usually hear in the stories of the day, economically speaking going the uh, a different direction. Now check this out. This is rather curious as well. Nationwide all device emergency alert is set to go off very soon. This is put out August 30th. Why would they want to set this up right now? <laughs> What's going on here for September, folks? Uh <laughs> As you, as I already mentioned, they put off the student loans to October because they already know this September is going to be very bad. They know it's going to be very bad, folks. We're already seeing the banks are insolvent, just hanging on by a thread. What is going to happen this month? Obviously, we're seeing other countries, people marching, of course, in the streets over things like power bills. And other costs, just, you know, every month, every day type of costs being way too high and skyrocketing. We know that inflation is not going to continue going downward. As I've shown you in this previous graph, you can see here, this is from Joe Brown. He shows the correlation between 1966 to 1982 and 2013 and two so far until 2023, which is right here with the gold colored line. 
the blue being 66 to 1982. As you can see here, we'll pretty much go sideways for about two years on inflation, and then it's gonna go much higher than it ever has been of recent up into the stratosphere for the next three years. And obviously you already can see a lot of businesses are barely hanging on by a thread and they got another, what is this, eight years left? Eight years to go through? We've just barely gotten started with this whole thing. So honestly, I think we also have this here. You can see the exposure. The net exposure is at an all-time high as well. Right now, we're sort of matching what was seen in 2020. Of course, this is when we had the stock market crash. But they're trying to tell us everything's okay, folks. Just ignore it. It's all it's great. Everything's great. Oh, the stock market's going to be awesome in September, October. Even though all the millionaires and billionaires are pulling their money out. Michael Burry already betting against it already, folks. On a huge level. BlackRock's betting against it, but they want you to keep going. Just stick your money in there. It's okay. Nothing's going to happen. Obviously, something's going to happen. Not rocket science. Of course, like I said, 45% of student loan borrowers expect to go delinquent when payments resume. October. And of course, like I said, we're going to be getting into a ton of stuff. I just wanted to start it off with that. We're going to get into the real meat of the stuff after this, folks. That <coughs> might be back. And actually, you thought, oh, they, they were no, they're, they're not going to be able to pull this off. They're not. Look, no one believes it. No one believes it, right? No one's going to believe the <laughs> thing, right? Let me show you what they're doing. Let me show you what they're doing. We're going to show you that next. But before we do so, I got to mention food supply, twenty-five year shelf life. Link is in the description. Five ninety-seven for three months worth. You might want to have this, folks. I'm going to show you what they're talking about. We're talking about zombie movies, okay? <laughs> What do I got to say about that? Oh, my goodness. Yes, indeed. They're actually talking about that. I'll get into that. You're like, what? Zombie movies? What does that have to do with business? Well, we'll get into that in a minute here, folks. Uh, <laughs> actually, I won't, talk, I won't talk about it very much over here. I'm going to talk about it much more over my other channel, God Rolls. But fact of the matter, matter is, we, you definitely want to have this, folks, just in case. $5.97 for three months worth. Link is in the description or $1.27 for two weeks. Of course, also this book here, The Lost Ways, How Your Great-Great-Grandfather Lived Without Electricity, like you may soon hear as well. Uh, link is in the description for that. They're talking about Europe. It's going to have it worse this winter than last winter. We were talking about insane bills last winter. If you remember correctly, a $10,000 bill for a coffee shop for power. And it's going to be worse this year. So it's going to the prices are going to go up. The price is going to go up on top of the fact that our fragile economy, what will happen when things just all, the house of cards comes down? You might want to get that book just in case. Link is in the description for that as well. It's only like $30 some dollars. Get the printed version. Hundreds of pages illustrated. How to, of uh, everything you would need to know if there was no power. At any rate, also, of course, gold and silver are linked below. Shouldn't have to tell you the dollar's not doing too well. I mean, well, technically it looks like it's doing well. As we already, I already predicted a year ago on this channel, it's going to look really good before it goes down. Matter of fact, all the other currencies compared to it, other than maybe some of these gold back ones, are going to look far worse than the dollar. The dollar is going to look fine until the last second. That's how it will work because it's the reserve currency in the West. You're going to definitely want to get this just in case. You don't want to be blindsided by that, folks. Get some physical gold and silver link is in the description. Of course, I just updated my website with new videos. Link is in the description. I'm putting up, I already put up a new episode over in the membership section. I don't even remember what category I was in. I have multiple videos in multiple categories. Obviously a little bit and of course timey here, folks. <laughs> Probably because we are in it, as you can tell. Uh, but this is <laughs> uh, a lot of good stuff in here, folks, actually. Um, this is my latest one hour podcast. Got Lucifer right on the on the thumbnail there. Sort of appropriate for the time we're in. Link is in the description for that, folks. $4.95 a month, first month free. If you want to get the sale daddy section, it's over in the membership section as well. Link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. So guess what what's happened, folks? Guess what happened overnight? No! Yes, it did happen. It happened, folks. The first, of course, lady 
She now has the, <coughs> oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. She has it. She has it, the <coughs> thing again. And, but, but the press doesn't have it. And why wouldn't he have it, of course? Why wouldn't he have it, of course? Well, maybe because then that would mean he would have to wear a mask. He's got to wear one because he doesn't want to get it from his wife, right? So that I think it's a good time for everybody to start wearing them again. The press has to wear one. Why are you not wearing one? You know, what? why aren't you wearing one? You should be wearing one right now. I should be wearing one right now when I'm making my video, right? Indeed. Of course, this is what they're saying. Oh, don't you love how they play that, folks? Of course, also Whoopi Goldberg. She has it now, folks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everyone's going to get it again. Everyone's going to get it, and we're all going to be closed, of course, down again for a year straight. Yes, indeed. This is what they want, folks. It isn't exactly rocket science. She misses the view. Whoopi Goldberg. She's out. She's down and out. She's got it, folks. Oh, no. Once again, uh, <laughs> you're going to be stuck in, of course, your home. Super important, folks. That's that's something that's now coming. Of course, also, it wasn't it a week or two ago he said he had a new updated thing for you, a new updated one. It's just so weird how all of them got it exactly after they got the new version uh, ready for you. It's brand new product, folks. They already got the solution to the problem before it came. You know what I mean? It's like kind of interesting how that works. <laughs> Ah, love it. I love it so much, folks. So that's what you get to look forward to. You get to look forward to more of that. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right. So, of course, also they're having fun at Burning Man uh, in 2023. And it's it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous. Some of the stories coming out with regards to this music concert. Uh, of course, Chris Rock was able to leave just in the nick of time. He didn't get stuck in the mud. And of course, from some, for some reason, now there's like some sort of um, uh, bug bug infestation there and just weird things going on. People vomiting left and right. Uh, it's really kind of strange if you start reading around about this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, they said it's not Bola, so you don't got to worry about that. Uh, <laughs> there might be some hypothermia though, you know, There's some stomach bugs, uh, something to do with the food folks, something, something's going on there and lots of people still stuck there. Apparently now some are saying there's nothing happening. It's just all rumors. Some are saying that everybody's happy and fine there. And some are saying the exact opposite. Maybe it's a mixture of that. We don't know exactly. Of course, they're talking about even boils, which sounds pretty ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I, so I don't want to get into what really is going on there, but it doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound fun to me. Uh, at any rate, of course, also uh, getting back to the topic of food, we have foods that will be in short supply in 2023. You might want to stock up on. Yes, indeed. They're saying corn, bread, bread vegetable oil, baby formula, and champagne and canned pet food are going to be in short supply. I don't know about champagne, but uh, they have 14 foods that you might not be able to buy anymore in 2023. Might want to stock up on. What are they saying? Uh, similar bread, sunflower, palm oil, champagne. Looks like the same list. Oh, no, here we go. We got beers, canned food, and pet food. So canned food might be coming into short supply. That's kind of interesting. That's something you'd want to have more supply of. Lettuce, corn, oranges. And this is interesting with oranges because, of course, Florida had a really terrible uh, season last year, and apparently this year wasn't very good either. So two years in a row, low crop of oranges. Beef, oh my goodness, beef, folks. You're going to be eating crickets this this uh, next year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> many American ranchers and farmers faced all kinds of difficulties due to the record-breaking weather events. Eat this, not that, reports. Oh, that's interesting. Texas. 
which is one of the nation's largest beef producers, experienced an extreme drought for the much of the summer season. I wonder why. We covered it here, folks. We talked about the weather here. It was kind of interesting, all the all these type of weather things that happened during the summer. And now we're seeing the results of it. Less food available. Higher prices. This is what we're going to see as a result of it. Olive oil, infant formula, ketchup. Sir Kensington's ketchup, whatever that is. Uh, rice. Okay, and that was interesting too because of California. They had a low crop the year before. And now this year, apparently, they also did as well. Maybe. Let's see what we got here. If you frequently enjoy cooking up a nice stir fry like they do, there may be bad news on the horizon. We could have a rice shortage heading our way for a second half of 2023. Price of rice has risen nearly 10%. Flooding, droughts, etc., etc. Again. So apparently, yeah, so it seems like two years in a row. That seems a little strange. Sugar as well. All these things in shorter supply than usual. Uh, definitely not a good thing, folks. And of course, like I said, I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff over on my other channel. I already talked about some of this climate change stuff, how it's super bizarre stuff in my last video that they actually want you to stop planting trees now so i already told you guys how they said we want to save the planet before when we wanted to save the planet it was about saving animals it's about saving plants it's about making the earth nice now apparently it is getting rid of cows removing trees this is the latest one folks the latest one and i know some of you aren't going to believe me so i'm going to just have to show you because it just doesn't sound it you know like i said if you lived in the Twilight Zone, it'd probably be actually more normal at this point. Chop down forests to save the planet. Maybe not as crazy as it sounds. So apparently this is the latest thing they're doing. They're now saying that if you chop down trees, you're actually saving the planet. So dimming the sun, cutting down trees, getting rid of animals is apparently saving the planet now. Okay, this is the latest of how they're saving the planet. What's next? Uh, let's make it like the Matrix, where there's like literally just rocks everywhere and no, no life left. We saved the planet. <laughs> I guess that's what we're supposed to do, folks. Um, at any rate, I'm going to be getting into some other stuff over my other channel. These wonderful new music videos. No sarcasm, of course. Dodge a cat here with her uh, sort of devilish uh new album and how it's actually leading a lot of people to believe in and do a little bit of this actually doing the exact opposite of probably what you wanted i don't know instead of leading people away from uh the man upstairs kind of leading them towards him like uh this is kind of weird maybe we should start believing again uh, things are getting a little too strange around us at any rate uh, kind of want to know what some of you guys think let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching